Well, all right, guys. I got me a new selfie stick mounted to the controller so I can do my video in for now. I'm eventually gonna go ahead and get a nice camera. And it's time we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the uh, in the high lift. I might as well. I haven't even drove it since the video yesterday. It's still clean. Sorry, we're watching the Elvis movie in the background here. So, anyway, I'm getting ready to slap this in. We're going to improve it before we cruise it too much. Well, all right, before I begin on this, again, I want to say, you know, thanks to Dino RC. They sent me some nice things, and we're going to help out with their autism awareness auction. So I'm sending them them tires. We got this Holmes Hobby motor up here that's a 35 turn. And I'm going to go ahead and send Teen Wolf here. We got this one today. I picked it up for a buddy of mine that was looking for a couple of characters for one of his trucks but he's looking for seven inch more like marty mcfly so we're gonna go ahead and donate that one to the autism auction i think that'd be all right so i gotta get that stuff sent out first thing monday because I'm, I'm already behind on it again because i wanted to pick that up today because i seen they had them on sale i already have one so i didn't need it so i figure maybe somebody would want another driver for cheap now then if anybody out there wants a brand spanking new motor and ESC just let me know in the comments we can maybe work out a trade on something I'm sure it's not worth no big fortune but it, it ain't even been ran but 10 minutes as you can see this truck has only been in the one video I made I have not drove it since She's still clean as a whistle. I was going to take it today and make a little video under the bridge where we go to the river. But we had some milk in the car and we couldn't stop by the time we got there. You know, Plus it started raining real hard everywhere else. Anyway. So, let me go ahead and just get the stuff out of the truck first. And then we'll slap this stuff in there real fast and get to programming or something. Now, I'm going to actually use this Allen wrench that comes with it, I think. Because... I like the way that is up there makes it easy to turn I'm gonna go ahead and try it for a while before I get into my toolkit here and then we got our other stuff if we need it well we got that motor out in about two minutes you know and that was that was pretty nice especially when you get the tool that actually is not rounded the screws have no dirt in them yet so it's you know nice easy fit now the worst part is I got to open all this crap up. I got to lift the battery box up to get through there. I sure wish they would have ran like an extension and plugged that sucker right there so that you could have just done the ESC without getting into all this. But they didn't. So this is what it is. So let's get that out next. That ESC is the biggest downfall of the truck, honestly. Well, I found one awesome benefit of this long wheelbase on my other one with the battery box. You know, I mean, you got two screws here, right there, and then back here, there's some that coming from the side. And in my blazer, when I'm working on stuff, the wiring, I just take out these two, I pull it up to right there. That's as far as it will go because it hits in the back. But as you can see, you can still get your wires. That's fine. And you don't have to take these back screws out. But on this long wheel base, that's not an issue. That sucker just flips right around. I don't know if it's something they've changed or it just doesn't hit because that's moved. Uh, I suppose. I haven't really looked at the other one, but that's pretty cool. I did not, did not expect that, but it's all the way out the way. Shabam. Now we just got to get the wires and pop open these part. That sucks. So there we are. We got it all out. Now, also, I want to add. Now, I mentioned in my video yesterday when I was driving that I thought this had a lower gear. And it does. Now, when you buy the lift kit, if you bought that lift kit to put on your own truck, that lift kit comes with a 10-tooth pinion because stock is 11. So, I was just wondering, well, it already has the lift kit. So, do they put the 10-tooth? And, yes, they do. I looked in the owner's manual yesterday and I seen that they had it, but there you can see it as well. If it don't blur, it's a 10. 
And also all the other ones are on the third hole. This is on the second hole. When you got 11 tooth, it's on the third. You can only go down to a nine. So, uh, I do have a nine. I wonder, should I bring it? Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to bring it down no more. She crawled perfect, even with this motor. So, we're just going to put the 10 tooth on the Holmes Hobby and see how it goes. Now, one more thing I'm going to add. You know, that little tool kit is so handy now because it... I'm sure they wouldn't last forever or whatever, and it's new, so they would fit good, but this here cool little island wrench took everything apart by itself. There's the screws that I had to remove to do this process so far. This, oh, well, I got two more to go, which is the bigger one. So you got the bigger island wrench, and it's for those two screws there. You got this little island wrench, which fit my pinion gear. So throughout this truck and that and this tire tool or whatever, shop to everything you got everything you need to work on this truck that's kind of cool you know i guess traxxas they knew right off the bat people were going to throw this shit away <laughs> so anyway excuse my language let me go and get that motor off there so we can get my new one on all right i'm going to go with the 21 turn because that's what stock would have been in the truck and i got a 21 in my wife's bronco over there and it does great. It's running on a, uh, let's see, what ESC is that? It's a, it's out of a, like an Element Enduro or something. It, it's a, it's basically a 1060 ESC running with a 21 turn motor, and it does beautiful. And it's actually the 11 tooth pinion still. It ain't even been dropped or nothing. I was actually going to reduce hers to make it a little bit more controlled, but she's doing pretty good with it, so. Mine has the 27 turn, so it's slower, and it has a 10 tooth pinion. Like I've said before, this has the low gear because when I got the truck, the man had already put the lift on it. I removed the lift, put it back to stock, but I left the gearing, and I went to a lower turn motor as well, so I got the 27 on it. Then we got the Gen 8 up there. It's also running the 27, and originally I was going to put that 1080 in the Gen 8, but I just need to get another one. I was wanting to do some comparison videos with that, but that's all right. The big dog gets it all right now. I still need a servo for this truck. I really don't feel like taking my brushless servo out of that truck because it does beautiful. So I'll wait till it burns up or something and then we'll worry about it. So anyway, I'm getting off topic again. Let me open this motor up and get her installed. All right, I got her wired up, ready to go. That's one more thing I'll add. It does not come with the the wires on the end but it's not a big deal for most people now i think i paid 21 plus tax for the 550 cans but they also carry like the 540 can this is the 35 i was donating but i think they're like 17.99 this is not even original bag but that is the right price they're, they're either 16.99 or 17.99 for the the ones they carry in stock that are a 540 can they have uh the 27 turn like i got in the other one i think yeah i got two 27 turns they're both 540 can and then i got the 21 turn that's a 550 in the other truck so anyway now then let me get back to mountain now right, one more little note now with, with the gear on the pinion on Traxxas, the shaft is a little longer here, so they got theirs flush to the end, facing the way where you can see the number and tighten the screw on this end instead of over there. But this shaft is a little shorter. If you try to put their pinion on the same way, you almost run out of shaft to tighten the screw up on. So you have to turn your screw or your pinion the opposite way so that when this is straight, Make sure you line it up to where that screw is not hitting your gear inside. If you see it underneath there. When it spins around, you don't want it to... There we go, now you can see it. On the back side. So, you got to make sure that you got plenty of clearance for that. So, not a big deal. Once this is uh, tightened in, it'll be right there. There'll be plenty of room. You just can't do it the other You can probably get away with tightening it up over the other way, but it is very close. So, not that it matters just a little pointer i guess not that y'all need it all right guys we're unboxing the 1080 i'm sure a lot of y'all have seen that you know what it looks a little different than my 1080 let me look and see 
All right, I was just looking under the blazer. It's the same. I just didn't notice that this was raised up before, you know, the, where it's got the letter Q, I guess, for the quick run. So I just didn't notice that, so I just double-checked. So anyway, let's get this thing out the box and throw it in. No, so, you know, I done forgot I get these awesome stickers in the bottom of this. Cool. I love stickers. I got some tracks of stickers. We got the Hobby Wing stickers. Get out of there. That's going on one of my windows. So That is still my biggest downfall of this truck is the painted windows. I, I'm mad about that. I will get some nitro fuel or whatever I've seen people do. I will get the windshield clear. I'm going to clear the windshield. I'm just going to cut out the side windows like I do because I'm going to put in some seats. Some kind of interior. I got these little seats up here. I'm going to turn them into the interior somehow. So anyway, look, check out this one-fifth scale Camaro we got up here in the garage, man. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I got these little cars from my grandson a long time ago. Little pullback cars. And there was one truck in the pile. And just happened to notice the other day it's the same as the truck I got. 2001 Yukon. This is actually the Suburban, but same thing. This is a 2001 even. So, I just thought it happened to be cool. I got the same vehicle. Anyway, back off topic again. So, let's get this thing mounted in, wired in. I'm going to have to run me an extension. I got one here somewhere, I hope. Let me find it. And get it, get it in there. Well, that's a bummer. It doesn't have the Dean's connector on it like I thought it would. I forgot when I got my other one, it was in my uh, RC four-wheel drive. Somebody must have already changed it theirself. So, what a bummer. I got to find a plug around here somewhere. And it doesn't have any uh, bullet connectors or nothing on it yet. I got to uh, just solder it out. I'm just going to run that straight to the motor. I'm not even going to worry about it, I guess. We'll see if we can do it that way. Still got to get this plug figured out. Well, unfortunately for tonight, it has to get a Traxxas plug because that's the only one I had laying around. So, we're going to cut it up, put a Dean's on it tomorrow or something. I'll go get one, you know. I just happen to have it. Hopefully, I didn't put the wrong end on it. Okay, that's <laughs> right. It would have sucked if I'd have put the wrong end on the dang thing. I just had it laying in my drawer. So, I soldered it on there real fast. I need some flux and stuff to clean my solder gun. This thing's it's horrible. Man, this thing's horrible. Anyway. Alright, well, let me get the motor soldered on now. Well, alright guys, I don't have any uh bullet connectors anyway, so we're gonna do straight to the motor solder for now. If my solder gun works good enough again, I had to clean it off and everything. I don't have any uh, I don't have anything for my solder gun right now. There's just enough solder on the end of these cable on the ends there that it should actually bond. If it doesn't, then I'll go another route. I still got to get some more solder. It sucks. I had some clips that could just slide on there somewhere. I just don't know where they're at. And I can crimp them onto the wire, which is never as good, so... I'm hoping the solder works. I don't plan on changing this motor in ESC for a long time. I mean, this, this is my truck. I'm not going to get rid of this baby. And now it's just all about do I want to lower it or not. But I'm going to drive it like it is, enjoy it for a while, and then I'll determine if, if that's the case. You can see, I like this stance right here. That's the thing. I want that truck with that stance. That's what I like. So... I think it would look awesome, just a regular old pickup truck like that. So, anyway, let's see what happens with this solder gun. Well, all right, we got her all hooked up. Everything works, except forward and reverse need reverse, so we're about to do that. And we're going to set this thing up the way I have my other hobby wing set up. So I'm watching RC Reviewer with Francis. The way his video is on setting this up for a crawler, 
is the way I recommend setting them up. It works perfect, so I'm going to do mine the same way. As soon as I get done, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, all right, we got everything installed. I had to reverse the throttle on the remote because I didn't want to have to unsolder the wires I just put on that motor, which I put them the right way. It's just... It still needed reversed, not a big deal. Normally you just switch the bullets around, the connectors and you're done. You don't gotta worry about the whole remote part, but as you see though, we got a pretty nice little crawl going here. And again, I set mine up the way that Francis on RC Reviewer does and there's no point in me making a video of how to set it up, really. If you if you want it in your crawler and you want to know the best way, I just recommend watching his video. And then, and then you can fine-tune from there, basically. Well, before I throw the body on, let's show you what we got here. We got a nice little sticky, double sticky tape, put it right where it was. Wires stay right out of the way of everything. We even got the little double sticky tape with the button, so we got it way in the back. My other one is in a similar location where I can just pull the body back and reach in there and turn it on. So I wanted to keep it the same, basically. Then we got our wires that run to the motor. They're soldered on, and then I taped over them anyway just to keep a nice connection. Or, you know, keep them covered. But there shouldn't be no issues out of those. They go right into the little loop there. So... I need a Dean's connector because right now I only have one actual Traxxas battery so for the plug and my wife's runs on the same plug. I was going to put Dean's on this one. I thought it actually came with one. I didn't even look at the box to see it wasn't so it's fine. We're going to be just handy with that but she's all tucked away nice and clean. She looks good. All we need to do is oops, sorry, put the body on and find somewhere to drive. Well, all right, that's beauty. She's a beaut. And I got my uh, camera mounted on this little selfie stick. Let's we'll see if it works out for me. You know, it's not bad. Thing about this motor, when you go to a Trailmaster, even though it's a 21 turn, they're not the slowest. When I am crawling at the, my slowest abilities here, if I turn the steering, it doesn't stop. It still crawls. It's got the torque that it stays going. It doesn't bog it down like a lot of them would. Oh, look at this. Oh, we ain't gonna make that. But none of my trucks can go up that without coming over the edge here. They always do. But if I get it to hold on to there, let's see. Let me lock them in. There we go. Most all my trucks will slide and slide till they come around and, and they, they will never go straight up it. Now, I did kind of cheat and use my garage wall that time, but look at that control. The problem with the tracks is like I say, they don't have no downhill control. When you start to roll that this right here, you see what I do. Look at that, I stopped it right there. Look at that. We're half and half there. That's what that Hobby Wing 1080 along with that Trailmaster with that that Trailmasters have a lot of torque. And if you're really wanting that precise slow crawl, go to the 27 turn or 35 turn. But I wanted some speed, so I stuck with 21 since I got the two speed. But look at that. I just creeped right down it like it wasn't nothing. She's a beaut. Got some wheel speed now. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be a little bit peppy, I think. Let me show you another thing. This is second gear, guys. Watch this. It's not bad. I mean, it's not the best. But 
little coggy right there, you see that? Still has the torque to crawl. But I didn't break this motor in. I forgot so far. I haven't drove it, so it don't matter. With Holmes Hobby Motors, you're supposed to actually leave your pinion gear off and turn your trim up on the remote at a low RPM and just let it run like you would a real car for I don't know how many minutes they recommend. So what I'm going to do is put it up on blocks and just let it cruise for a while. I have to hold my finger on the trigger, I guess, because this doesn't have that kind of adjustments on the remote. That's what sucks about these stock controllers. I actually don't mind stock Traxxas radios. They, everything about them works good. All the switch, everything I like, except for the fact that you can't turn your throttle trim unless you go and you buy that other thing goes in it or whatever. I don't know. And then this knob will work, I guess, but... You know, at least you can do your steering left and right. That's the only thing you can really do. So anyway. Alright guys, we got that Hobby Wing 1080 installed. We got the Trailmaster 21 turn motor. And I did a little bit of something to make mine stand out from the crowd here. Look how smooth that went. I like them tires. Alright, we got some white letters now. Makes it look a little better. They're not perfect. One of my pens was kind of oozing out. I tried my best, but front one needs another layer, another coat. So, anyway, peace.